veteran team now, you know, made up primarily of a lot of juniors and seniors and a couple new faces. And, and uh, we're, uh, again, thank you for being here. We're excited and we will begin with questions. How much new stuff have you put in this group? Yeah, you know, we've, we've definitely done some new stuff defensively. That's kind of been our main focus since the off season started with some full court pressure kind of things. And, um, even in the half court, just a, some defensive schemes a little bit different than we've done in the past offensively. I think we'll be pretty much very similar. Um, we're going to try to, um, on opportunity, push the ball and play a little bit maybe faster than we have in the past. But I think offensively you'll see a lot of the same stuff that you've seen just because these guys are so comfortable with the system that we implemented really two years ago and, and have got pretty good at it. Jared said he kind of had to pull the reins on you putting in, he said you'd put in like 100 new plays. Yeah. Now that you have that power to, how much new, I mean, new plays you put in? That's a great question for some of these guys, too, um, to see what they think. But you know what? We, it, it hasn't been a lot. You know, we've built off again what we've done last year. Again, I will definitely add, we'll definitely have some more plays. We'll definitely have a couple different looks. You know, one of my jobs and one of my challenges is going to be a team that's so um, versatile and has guys that can do many different things on different areas of the basketball court. I'm going to try to put these guys in a position offensively to be successful. And as they've gotten older, as they've gotten better, as we gel as a team, and as I figure out the new guys, I'm st you know, we're going to do things to put these guys offensively in a position to be successful. In terms of defense, what uh, do you expect that the audience the fans themselves will notice this You know, I think the number one thing we're trying to do is be more physical and a little bit, you know, a better rebounding defensive team. Those two areas have been our have pr our primary area of focus. And then in addition to that, a little more, again, a little more full court pressure, a little more up-tempo. Hopefully we're going to create some steals, try to um, play defense against a shortened clock with some pressure things we're going to try to do and some, uh, and some stuff like that. You know, going, going back to last year, you know, I think it was a great motivator um, to the season starting, but I think now that practice has started, the schedules come out, you know, the preseason polls are in, I think there's a huge, you know, there's a big enough motivating factor. Um, this is a new team. This is a, you know, a new coaching staff, and we're, we're doing things in a positive way a little bit different. As I mentioned, and we're ready to uh, take the challenge on. We know the schedule that looms in front of us very, you know, shortly here, and we've prepared, you know, to be successful early on in the season. And you mentioned that schedule, and you've got a couple of basically got to go through the Big Twelve before you get to the yeah. top of the I mean, why, I mean, why challenge these guys, you know, at that level? I mean, is that the level this team wants to get to? I mean, do they have that ability? I think there's no question. And the, these guys, you know, sitting to my, my right and left and then, you know, in the stands, these guys deserve that opportunity. They want that opportunity. Again, as now made up of juniors and seniors, they've played against some of the best in the country in the last two years. We've won some of those games. We've lost some of those games. And I think now they've gotten better since uh, the last couple months. And we are definitely, you know, ready for the challenge. And we want to be able to put ourselves in a position where if we play as good as we can, you know, in the non-conference, that will lead over to hopefully the conference and we'll be at the end of the year have a chance to achieve, you know, some of the goals that we want. And going off of that, I know that was one thing Jared wanted to stress was maybe, I don't know about changing your approach when it comes to scheduling, but trying to schedule maybe a little bit tougher to get in that situation. 100%. Is that something you've been working on in the future? And is that, have you had any, any trouble? You know, there's definitely, when you're a team as good as, uh, as we are uh, in our situation, it's very difficult to find, you know, to find games to schedule against good quality opponents, especially here in Bartow Arena, given the success not only these guys have had, but really the, the history of Bartow Arena, how successful and how difficult of a place this has been to play. It makes it very difficult. But we 100% um, have been planning, and we've done that. You know, this year's schedule shows, again, I said it, I've said it before, I think it's one of the hardest non-conference schedules since I've been here for sure, maybe in the last decade at UAB, um, all across the board. You know, on the road, neutral games, home games is going to be it's going to be very difficult. But it's what we want. It's challenging, and if we um, if we can accomplish what we want, in some of those early games, we'll have a chance to put ourselves in the position we want to be at the end of the year. You have Auburn on that schedule as well. You know, there's another SEC team in town that a lot of people say, yeah. at least from the UAB perspective. 
perspective of Vladimir Slavic. Would you like to see a lot more in-state competition on yeah, basketball? I think 100%. I think it's good for basketball. I think the Auburn game versus UAB last year and this year has 100% heightened the excitement around college basketball in the state of Alabama. I think the more that we as a state can do that, there's a lot of excitement around not only our program, but their programs as well. And the more that we can play each other and, and uh, have fans come out and enjoy it, it will only help us and help them as well. Have you talked to Alabama? I have not personally, but we've, I mean, we reach out, we've reached out to every SEC team. Um, they know that, you know, I think there's a level of interest, you know, on our end if they would, if they would want to play. And again, I think it's, it's, as I just said, being able to play against the teams, any SEC team for us is, is awesome. We, we'd love to take on that challenge. And, and they're a part of a big group that we've tried to kind of reach out to in the past. Coach, from a March Madness perspective, it really comes down to, you know, three or four days in March in the conference tournament. How do you kind of pace, pace yourselves where you, you know you're peaking at the right time? Yeah, you know, that's a difficult thing given our given our strength of schedule and how our conference is played out right now. I, you know, this team, we're not in a position, to be honest, where we're going to try to slow play into this and peak late, which is kind of, you know, I think what we did two years ago last year, we started slow peaked, then we kind of finished slow. So, so I think this is, and these guys know it, and I think they're able to handle this because they're older and a little bit more mature, that we're going to have to keep it at a high level uh, for, for a long period of time, which is difficult, which is a challenge for any college basketball team. But I think they're prepared mentally and physically to take on that challenge. Now that you're about to get this thing going, I mean, I assume in the offseason you talked to Pierre a little bit mm -hmm. about just what kind of things do you look for maybe for advice and what your conversation you know, he, he's obviously, he's going to follow us. He knows our guys really well, you know, him being the head coach. I think just my learning from him the last couple of years about certain situations, you know, I, I've called him a couple of times and more check in on him, but uh, give him an update on our guys. He, he does still care deeply about this program and I think about our guys. So, you know, him, as, as, as you guys know, Gary Williams was here as well. So, you know, a lot of coaching mentors that I've had and people I've worked for, I think, you know, will definitely follow us and, and be, um, you know, be in our corner throughout the season if I need him. You're good. <laughs> anyway, we, we made so much of the fact that it was going to be a smooth transition. I mean, it, it has, did it actually play out the way that, that we all talked about like it would at your introductory press conference? Yeah, I think so. I think, you know, six, you know, the timeline is my son, right? He's six months old. So that's how I know how long I've been on the job. So he, uh, it, it, I think it has been. You know, we've been, uh, we've been working at it for six months. I think everything, the message that, that our coaches have tried to, uh, get through to the guys is we're going to be tougher, we're going to be more physical this year, and we're going to play more consistently at a high level. I think they've bought into that. We've been playing against each other for a long time since since I've got the job, and we are ready to, um, you know, we're ready to go against somebody else, which is going to start here really soon. And I think these guys are eager to show, you know, us and the fans, you know, everybody, you know, how, how good they are and how well of a team they're going to play together this year. With as much talent as you have on this team, have you kind of settled on maybe a starting five or at least a rotation that you're going to try and start the season? No, not really. We'll get into that here pretty quickly. But we've, I mean, these guys know we've divvied up groups of five every diff, you know, every practice it's a different five. So we'll, we, uh, w this is a very talented and deep roster, which everyone knows. They know it as well. It's helped fuel competitive practices, which I think have got us a lot better. And uh, as we get closer to the season, we're going to start to talk about, you know, different roles and who starts, who doesn't. But, but I want to make this point, make no mistake, that the strength of this team will be the depth of this team. And, and as we've seen the last two years, every single guy on our, on our roster has contributed in certain ways that have helped make UAB basketball, you know, get to the point we are today. Chris Pope, because you can just pass that mic once you get asked a question. Ms. Chris, what, what kind of, how do, how do practices seem to you with, with a new head coach in Charlotte? Are they different or the same? Or how's Coach Eason seen? Uh, you know, practice really the same. Everybody compete hard every day. You know, whatever Eason asks of us or whatever the other coaches ask for us, everybody try their best to do it. You guys have so many bigs who are all back. What's, uh, what's the best way to describe the competition you guys have every day? Uh, you know, all the bids compete hard every day, one another, you know, whether it's boxing out, trying to get to the office of board, we all compete hard. What are you individually trying to do? Uh, just get better and better every day.
whatever Isan asks, just do it to my best, to the uh, to my the best of my ability. I mean, with, with the way last year ended, I mean, does, did that motivate you? Know what I'm uh, yeah, I think that you know everybody got that bad taste in their mouth from last year, so this year we'll be more hungry. Nick, how do you, at the end of last year, didn't do as well as you guys wanted. Uh, I think we've done a good job for getting about it in the right way. Um, going into the season, we addressed what we needed to work on, and I think Coach Eason has addressed it very clearly to us. And um, we've been trying to achieve those things every day, and um, hopefully by March, it'll all be, I'll be good. You said you addressed those things you need to work on. What would you say those things were? Um, being more physical in our defense. And that's something we work on every day. Yes, Tyler, you're one of the more physical guys down low. Uh, when, when you guys talk about being more physical, does this lead to I mean, really intense practices like uh, or stuff like that? Are you all getting into fights down low, so to speak? <laughs> or are there other big battles? You know? Yeah, I mean, I think that one could, that competitive edge that we have could be, you know, better than last year. Uh, you know, Ha Ha, Chris, myself, you know, the other bigs, we compete every day. So every day I have Chris trying to get an offensive board and I have not boxed him out. But, you know, it, it makes the team tougher and it makes us, you know, compete harder. So Yourself included, are the bigs tougher to box out this year? Yeah, of course. Of course. I think uh, our off-season workouts and preseason workouts, we got to get credit to that. So. Uh, not really. Uh, even when he was an assistant, he was always had that fiery, you know, attitude towards about himself. So you know, now it's just full blown. So I think everybody says um, the coach's attitude is more within how the how the players play, and so I think we're taking that same attitude towards the way we play taking his fiery attitude, so it'll be great for us. Same question for you, Nick. Any differences between the assistant and the head coach? Um, just more, I mean, more, I mean, he's the head guy now, and see more of him and hear more of him. Um, everything that he's brought is great to, towards our team. And um, like I said, he's addressed all the problems that we need to take into the season, and I felt like we've done a good job towards it. Um, yeah, I'm, um, we got a clo <laughs> close knit group, and um, we love playing with each other. We love playing basketball with each other, and um, <laughs> 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 and um, our coaching staff is great. Um, we have a good time, but once we step on the court, we know what we have to get done. And um, looking forward to the season. Those guys over there are not helping you right now. <laughs> <laughs>